Welcome, one and all, to my final entry in the Deeks Techniques Challenge. Anything goes. We're going to be creating some nice asphalt, and then take it a little bit further and create some nice astroturf in honor of the 2012 NFL season. So let's get started. We're going to start by creating some asphalt, so let's create a new document by going to File, New, or you can also press Control N or Command N on the Mac. For the width, I want it to be 1,000 pixels, and then for the height, I want it to be 500 pixels at 72 dpi. I want the color mode to be RGB, and then the background contents need to be set to transparent. With this selected, I'm going to click OK. Now, we want to make sure black is the default color, so I'm going to press D on my keyboard, and then I'm going to press Alt Backspace to fill this layer with black. Now we're going to be adding some filters to this layer, but before we do, we need to turn it into a smart object so we can control the filters later. So right click on the layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. Now we need to make some noise, so go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. We want a low setting, so set the amount to 10%, make sure distribution is set to Gaussian, and the monochromatic box is checked, and then click OK to apply the filter. We need to make this whole thing a new smart object, so right click on it and choose Convert to Smart Object. So now we want to make a copy of this layer, so we'll con press Control J to jump it to a new layer. We're going to change this top layer, the blend mode, to linear dodge to get a little bit brighter, more pop on it. Finally, we're going to go to the filter, filter gallery. Now for CS5, you can choose filter, stylize, glowing edges, but in CS6, the glowing edges command can only be accessed in the filter gallery. So once we're there, we're going to go to stylize, glowing edges, and use these settings. Edge width set to 1, edge brightness to 5, and smoothness to 2. And then click OK. Now that we have the asphalt created, let's add some road lines. Select the rectangle tool, or you can use the shortcut key U. You want to make sure the option is set to shape, and set the fill color to yellow. Now we're going to draw a rectangle line, like so, and let go. Now we're going to choose the black arrow tool here, and with the Alt key pressed, we're going to click and drag on that yellow line to make a copy of it, like so. Now we have the double yellow lines that we're all used to. <laughs> now we want these lines blended into the asphalt, and that's easy enough to do. With the rectangle, tool, rectangle layer selected, click the blend mode and change it to soft light. But what does most asphalt contain? Tire streaks. So let's add one now. First, we want to rotate the image. So do image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. Now click on the brush tool and then go to the presets panel. Now click on this icon on the right here and we're going to choose the dry media brushes and it's going to ask if you want to uh, add them or append them. We're going to click OK to add them. And you want you to click on this brush right here with the number 36 underneath it. Now we need to increase the brush size so we'll do that by pressing the right bracket key a couple of times until we get to 200. And then we'll create a new layer here. Now we're going to click at the top center of this image and then shift click at the bottom to get this line. Now this tool is kind of finicky so it may not work and look how you want it to. If that happens that's okay just press Control alt z twice and repeat the process. Click at the top and click at the bottom until you get something that you want. That'll work just fine for us. To make it more tire like we're going to create a mask by clicking on the mask icon. And we're going to change the brush size down to 9 and since black is still selected I'm going to click here at the top left and then shift click on the bottom to get this line going through. The same with the right side, click at the top and then shift click at the bottom. Now I'm going to increase my brush size to 25 and click on the top middle and then click at the bottom. And that's a good enough tire for me, it's all I need. Now we're going to add a filter to this, but before we add any filters we're going to convert to a smart object. So click on the layer, right click on the layer and choose convert to smart object. Now we're going to do filter, distort, shear. I already have the settings here but I'm going to reset this is a really cool tip if you want to do it press and hold the control key and this cancel button changes to default so click that now you get the default line uh, take the top top line here and move it over to the right so it's in between the middle of this square and then click at the bottom of the square to create a new point and move it to the left just a little bit to get this nice curve and that's what we want we're going to click OK now we're going to rotate the uh, image back before we do we need to convert this to a smart object so we're going to right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. This will allow the shear values to keep when we rotate it back. Return the image to the original direction by choosing Image, Image Rotation, 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now we're going to press Control T to get to the free transform command and we position the tire tracks where we want it. We're going to rotate it a little bit 
and then move it over to the left so it's crossing these yellow lines, and then press Enter. Now I want to blend it in, so I'll set the blend mode here to soft light. The final thing we need to do is add some text. So I'm going to click on the text tool and click in the image. In the options, I'm going to change the font or make sure the fonts at Havelica Nui, and I want it to be heavy condensed. And we're going to set the font size to 118 pixels. And so I'm going to type with the caps lock on. So. Jungle. I'm going to press Control A to select all, and I'm going to change that color to yellow. Click OK. And there we go. I'm going to move it into position over here on the right side. And I'm going to choose the blend mode to be soft light. Now I want to darken this up, so I'm going to make a copy of this. But before I do, I want to be able to edit that text in just one place. So I'm going to right click on the text layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. And then I'm going to jump it to a new layer by pressing Control J. Now I have two copies of that, but they're all tied together. So if I wanted to change this text, I double click into it and change this to say Road Rage. I save it and go back. Both text items are saved, which is great. So we're going to click on this bottom layer, and I'm going to do Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and add a blur of about 2.5 pixels. And there you have it, a fully editable piece of asphalt track. You can edit the text, change the tire streaks, or even lighten and darken the road. It's up to you. So let's now move from the black top to the gridiron. But we want to save this layout for later, so we're going to use the layer comps. Open the layer comps and choose New Layer Comp. We're going to name this one Asphalt. And we're going to make sure visibility and appearance are checked and click OK. And we're good to go. So to transfer this into a football field, we'll need to hide the tire streaks and the blurred text layer. Now we're going to scroll down and click on the top asphalt layer here. And we're going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer. So click there and choose hue saturation. We're going to make sure the colorized box is checked. And we're going to set this to 120 and bump up the saturation to 35. Now we need the white lines. Click on the yellow lines layer. And you'll notice that only the second line is selected here. This is because we had it selected earlier. So when we press Control J, it's only going to copy that one line. Now we're going to turn off the double yellow line because we don't need that anymore. And we're going to double click on the new line here, change the color to white. Now we need to make a couple copies of this, so we'll choose the black arrow tool. And with the Alt key pressed down, we're going to click and drag on this line and move it over and down to make a hash mark. And then we're going to press the Alt key again and hold the Shift key and drag to do another hash mark. Now I want to change the text. So I want to make a copy of this text layer, but if I just press Control J, it'll create a copy of the smart object, and it will be tied to the original, which I don't want. So I'll right click on this text layer and choose New Smart Object via Copy, which will create a copy of this smart object, but it will be independent of the original. So we'll double click on this new smart object, and then double click on the thumbnail to edit the text. And we're going to change the text to say Sudden Death. Press Control A to select the text. Let's click the color icon and set it to white. Now that we're good, we're going to save it and we can close it. We're going to turn off this road rage layer. We don't need that anymore. Make sure sudden death is selected and we're going to move it into position right up here at the top. The final element we need is the number 50. So click on the text tool, click in the box, and type in 50. I'm going to select all. Now I want the font for this to be Century School Book Bold. And it says, I'm going to set this font size to something large, like just 300. I'm going to open up the character palette here, and I'm going to increase this number, the gap, between the two. So the 5 and 0 will be between the two lines, be between the line, like so. We're good. Set the blend mode to soft light. Now the last step we need to do is to darken up the white layers. So I'm going to click on the white lines layer, then control click on the two text layers, and press control G. It's going to group them all into one. And then with that group selected, I'm going to choose FX, Color Overlay. I want that color to be white. And I'm going to set the blend mode to soft light. Click OK. And that's it. We have our AstroTurf completed. So open up the Layer Comps palette and create a new Layer Comp and call this Turf. And click OK. And we're done. You can cycle through these by clicking on these two arrows back and forth. Or if you assign shortcut keys like I have, you can press the shortcut keys to cycle through them. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.